Hello everyone, in this lecture we'll talk about Hedges construction. So what is Hedges construction? Well basically it is a binary operation that involves two graphs in order to create a new graph. So let's suppose graph G and graph H are two undirected graphs, V, W, B and edge of G and X, Y, B and edge of H. Hedges construction combines two graphs by identifying vertices V and X into a single vertex, removing the two edges V, W and X, Y and adding a new edge W, Y to create a new graph. So basically as you can see it, we have series of steps or processes in order to create a new graph by Hedges construction. They may sound a little bit complicated, so let me give you an example. So let's say we have these two graphs G and H. As you can see it, we have four vertices. We have W and V in G and we have Y and X in H. So basically what we do in order to create a new graph by Hedges construction, we will delete the edges of W, V and Y, X. We will bring the two vertices of V and X together. We will combine them and we will add a new edge between V and Y. That is a Hadjus construction. And as you can see at the end, we will get a new graph that is different than the original two graphs. And we did it by deleting edges, combining two vertices, and adding a new edge. So what did I do in order to create this new graph? Well, basically what I did, let's say these are our graphs, G and H. We will delete the two edges of W, V, and X, Y. We will combine V and X together, those two vertices, to create a new vertex. And we will add a new edge between between V and Y. This is basically Hedges construction. So beside being an important binary operation, Hedges construction is also important in constructing critical graphs or any graph whose chromatic number is at least some given threshold. We'll talk more about critical graphs and chromatic numbers in later chapters of graph labeling and graph coloring. However, I just want to give you an introduction. So what is critical graph or chromatic number? Well, a chromatic number is the smallest number of colors needed to color vertices of a graph such that no two adjacent vertices have the same color. So as you can see it, we have these two graphs. The vertices in this graph, I have used three colors in order to color all the vertices such that no two adjacent vertices have the same color. However, here, even though we have more vertices and more edges, but I used two colors in order to color all the vertices such that no two adjacent vertex have the same color. So the chromatic number of this graph is three and the chromatic number of the other one is two. That is chromatic number. So let's see how this is related to critical graphs. Well, before we talk about critical graphs, we have to talk about critical elements. A critical element is deletion of a vertex or an edge that would decrease the chromatic number of a graph. So if we have a graph and we color every vertex such that no two vertices have the same color and we take away an edge or a vertex and then the chromatic number decreases, that vertex or edge is called critical element. Then what is critical graph? Well, a critical graph is a graph such that every vertex or edge is a critical element. Meaning, if I remove any vertex or edge from a graph such that the chromatic number of that particular graph decreases, that is called a critical graph. So, using these ideas, we use Hadjus construction in order to construct critical graphs or any graphs whose chromatic number is at least some given threshold. So Hadjus construction, besides being important as an on-graph operation that will create a new graph out of two graphs, it is also important in constructing critical graphs or any graph whose chromatic number is at least some given threshold. We will talk about these ideas in later chapters, as I mentioned, when we talk about graph labeling and graph coloring. So to look back in, Hadjus construction is a binary operation that will take two graphs, let's say G and H, which are undirected graphs, and will give us a new one. How? Well, let's say VW is an edge of G and XY is an edge of H. Hadjus construction basically combines these two graphs. It will merge vertices of V and X into a single vertex, removing the two edges VW and XY and adding a new edge WY in order to give us a new graph. That is Hadjus construction. And with this, we come to the end of this lecture.